one bout of the evening, three three-minute rounds contested at 77 kilos. In the blue corner, wearing the yellow and red trunks, we have Chris Mellish representing Fightworks. Jim and his opponent, uh, Harry Church. I think his brother was fighting earlier in the night out of the red corner, the uh, white and green trousers, the white and green shorts even, uh, representing Backstreet Dojo again. Both guys coming out, real fast opening from both of them. Chris yeah. throwing some big body kicks in there. Harry, good hands, pulled off a, or attempted to pull off the spinning back kick earlier on, but shrugged off by Chris. Both guys, even size, even stature, even records. Yeah, I spoke to both these guys earlier, they have a mixture of skills. Both of them experienced in K1 and MMA. Uh, you've got Mellish, who's had four K1 fights, won three, lost one. He's had five MMA fights, won four, lost one, so a pretty solid record. And Church, uh, he's had uh, three K1 wins. He's also had five MMA fights with four wins and one uh, draw, I believe. So both these guys got fantastic records, got a bit of experience behind them. Yeah, I mean, it's telling here, OK, both these guys nice and composed with each other, nice, strong shots, everything thrown with intention. Oh, big, big right, big swinging right there from uh, Church. Not quite finding the mark, not a support here for Church, you can hear in the crowd in the background, really getting behind him here. Yeah, it's, uh, Harry is uh, returning to Stand and Bang after appearing on the show last time out back in February. Um, he won a K1 rules belt against... Uh, oh, Mellis just looked like he walked on a bit of a shot there. Yeah, and again, a nice solid right cross there from Church. Yeah, Mellis wants to keep his hands nice and high. And uh, as we say, saying, Harry returning to Stand and Bang, his last out in here was a uh, points victory over... Uh, nice solid one-two combination and jumping knee there from Church. Mellis seems all right. Right turn and kick there for Mellish to the midsection of Church. And a low kick. He's landing these kicks. They're chipping away. Oh, nice, strong low kick. Yeah, Mellish is really chipping away there. The strategy I used to like, throwing nice, quick hands, keep the head distracted, and then just chip away, chip away, chip away at the leg. I think Chris has, what he feels, has seen a potential weakness in, uh, in Harry's armory there, so he's going to try to work there. Absolutely. Both. As many of us as martial artists learned early on whilst watching the Karate Kid 3, a man can't walk, he can't fight. No, uh, and I think Harry's got the same motto as well because he's thrown a couple of leg kicks back. And uh, Chris doesn't look like he's liking them when they're connecting. It's, uh, yeah, uh, throughout the night, I mean, I've seen a lot of kicks being caught tonight, but not many being checked. Oh, uh, shin on shin sounds horrible, but it's actually not as bad as being kicked in the thigh. No, of course not. What these guys need to understand as well under K1 rules, well and good catching these kicks, but they are still scoring. Round two. Round two of this scheduled three round K1 bout. Uh, it's going to be Yeah, it's a really solid low kick. Bill. Oh, nice kick to the midsection there for Mellish. Yeah, and uh, Harry showed that. I mean, he, I don't know whether Chris Mars spotted it or not, but. Yeah, Church wasted no time in retaliation, though. It may have caught him, but it didn't seem to rock him. He bounced straight back. Big swinging right there from Mellish. And uh, finish him with a big chopping inside leg kick. Oh, that's kick just going underneath, catching him a bit off guard there. One thing I wouldn't want to see, or one thing I wouldn't want to be in this fight is one of the judges having to score this. Very even fight between these guys. Both of them showing like for like shots as well. It's both trying to command the centre of the ring as well. It's good to see. Oh, nice little combination of punches there. Managed looking like defending quite well. And that jumping, that jumping knee there from Church. We've seen that a couple of times so far tonight. I don't know if it's done too much damage-wise, the actual, the actual move itself, but it's close to distance right down and got him in close, but then where to go from there? Yeah. Mellis just narrowly avoiding a little hook there. Oh, and yeah. Church again getting closer and closer with those potentially thunderously threatening looking shots. Yeah, Harry Shirley maybe edging it by looking a little bit stronger, but great catch and take down there by Chris. Yeah, good timing there on Mellish's part. Uh, his corner team quite vocal, giving their support. And again, we see that jumping knee from Church, that wound up, that big right hand. Uh, great flashing knee. Mellis started to look like a bit tired now. He started to look at the, dare I say, 
a, li a little bit more lacklustre out of the two of them. A bit, he's getting a bit sloppy now, his hands are dropping, he seems a little bit more fatigued. Yeah. Church, Harry, oh! Great to kick there from Harry Goff. I think Harry spotted those hands up, so uh, yeah. 20 seconds ago, big teeth to the mouth of Chris. Yeah, yeah, Manish really starting to look tired now, it looks like to see the effects of the fight. To say the Christmas seems to have gone now for Mellish's game. Yeah, Harry's certainly looking the stronger fighter now. Yeah, the crowd, the crowd behind Harry Church here. Church still looking as threatening as he always did. Looks as strong and as crisp and as sharp as he has throughout the whole fight. Mellish really starting to show the fatigue Spinning now. Back first to turn there by Harry. Needs yeah, to be careful, a bit of a, not bit, of a, to yeah, bit, of a bit of a question mark I see on the gas tank of Mellish. I think, back kick as well. yeah, I think, I think Church is starting to really, really get that now. He's starting to look confident. He's looking strong. He's looking for blood. Referee Chris Batchdor here. Keep an eye on both these fighters. If Mellish isn't careful here, he may end up getting a count. Yeah, Mellish wants to keep those hands high. He's in danger of being rocked. He's in danger of being caught. Some of those hooks are making it through. Nice flushing knee to the body there from Mellish. There's the klaxon sounding. We're coming towards the end of the third round. Both of these guys digging deep. Putting on a show. Yeah, see, he's coming, he's coming back. Nice back job. Big, big grasp of air. Mellish really needs to try and recover here. Third round getting underway of this 77 kilo war that's been taking place. Now, Mellish looked a little bit tired towards the end of that later round. Let's see whether he's been out. Oh, 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 big jumping knee. Oh, that's definitely, that's definitely caught Mellish. We were talking about that knee earlier. I was talking about that knee not looking like it was doing any damage. Just close to the distance. I stand corrected. Deadly is the knee and Mellish trying to get, trying to get himself back together. That's certainly connected now. Harry has smelt blood. Yeah. He's going for the kill. Church is looking for the finish now. Big, big ask now for Mellish to get through this. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to pull something out of the bag to win this. I think now if he's gonna want something out. Big left hook there from Mellish though. But if he wants something out of this now, he needs to, he needs to stop Harry. It'd be interesting to see if Church keeps attacking that same part of the body. The left hand side of the torso rib cage is where it seemed to land. Mellish looks like he's recovered quite well. He looked like he was in serious trouble for a moment, but now he's back on his feet. He's shown some fantastic recovery there. But yeah, a lot of heart, a lot of heart for Mellish there. There's something you can't teach. You know, you can teach anyone anything you want in that gym. One thing you can't teach is heart. Nice one-two combination there from Church. Even now, in the later stages of the fight, Church looking tired, his mouth's open, he's gasping for air, but every time he throws something, it still genuinely looks dangerous. He's not throwing out, he's not just extending his hand for the sake of going through the motions. If he's gonna throw something, he's still trying to stop the fight. Yeah, both guys now slowing the pace down. I think they've, you know, they've brought on a real, a real show for this crowd here. Yeah, win, lose or draw, both of these guys deserve nothing nothing other than a huge standing ovation. They both put on a massive show here. They fought their hearts out. They've been down, they've been in trouble, they got up. Mellish here just really looking like he's holding on. Church, although he's fighting off the back foot, he's picking his shots well. Everything he lands is crisp. Say, very impressed with Chris, the way he's recovered. Not giving up, he's still on that front foot. He's still looking, and you know, it's... Um, Again, but Harry, again, I just feel he's just taking control of this fight and he's fighting a clever game. Yeah, Mellish now looks exhausted, absolutely exhausted. The end can't come soon enough, but he still stood there. When many a fighter would have given in at this stage, he's still literally looking for that big shot. He's still pressing forward, he's got a heart of a fighter, a warrior. Oh, nice little right hook there, just landing. I think it just grazed Mellish's face. Yeah, Church just looks consistent to me, absolutely consistent in this fight, just solid. He hasn't deviated away from any game plan, he's been doing the same thing over and over and over and it's working for him. Clax and Sander are coming towards the end of the bout now. Mellish just have to pull something spectacular out of the bag, otherwise I oh, think Church has taken this. The draw there from Harry on the and that is the final round. A sign of class there from Mellish, he threw that kick, the bell went and he retracted it. Amazing stuff, tough guys. And at the end of those three rounds of action, your judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner fighting out of the...